What's on everyone? Welcome to the TR7 YouTube channel. Today we're doing another tutorial and we're going to learn wallies and pull jams. Right out here we got our pole jam and a wallet. Let's hit this. Let's hit this. Wallies and pole jam. That's a pole jam, not the wallet. <laughs> Thanks for requesting this one, Rupert. This one goes out to you. So the pole jam and the wally, there's a reason we're doing this together, it's because they are quite similar tricks. The only difference really is that obviously with the wally, you're going to be hitting your wheels and wallying over, whereas with the pole jam, you're going to be hitting your trucks and going straight over. You can start learning whichever of these tricks you want to first of all, but today I'm going to start with the pole jam. First of all, I'm going to start with the approach. For this one, you're going to want to take quite a few steps away from the pole jam to ensure that you can get a good amount of speed. <laughs> so now that you're nice and far away, you're going to want to give yourself a good, strong, confident few pushes at the pole jam because the most important thing is having a bit of speed. Without speed, you're not going to make it over. I'll demonstrate. <laughs> So our first step is speed, you're going to need a lot of that. Second step is you want to come straight at this one, you don't want any kind of angle. Straight is going to be perfect for this one because when you come at it, you're going to obviously be locking your trucks onto the rail, so you want your trucks to go nice and straight up the pole. Otherwise if you come in at a bit of an angle, who knows what could happen, You'd go all over the place. So we got going fast, nice and straight. Next thing, you're gonna be hitting the actual pole itself. Now for this, I don't think you have to worry too much about where your actual trucks are gonna be hitting, but obviously if your heel side is on the rail, you're gonna have more balance because your heel is pressing down, you've got more strength in your heels than in your toes. So I always prefer to think heel side is best, and that's where you're gonna aim for. When you actually hit it, you're gonna to have to lean back and push the board up. Your front foot almost goes weightless because it just pushes up like this, comes out of the way, and then it's gonna push up from the back like an ollie almost, and straight over the other side. You have to sort of jump with it as you come up because that's the only way you're gonna get it to come with you straight over the pole. So you've leaned back to come up the rail, now you're going to have to transfer your weight back forward after you've come off to then lean the board, level it out and roll away. If your weight's not forward, you're going to land on the back and slip off backwards, which can happen sometimes when you're doing it. But all you've got to do is lean back to come up and then transfer the weight back over onto the front foot. Once you start doing it, it'll be real easy. That's the pole jam. Now we're going to take a look at our wally block over here, do some wallies. Wallies are a little bit different. You can do them in lots of different places. You can do them on flat walls, slanted walls, all kinds of stuff can be wallied. But it is essentially the same thing. We just got to go with a little bit of speed, bit of power, push up and over the wally. So when I say essentially the same, there is obviously a few differences. You do still want to come with speed, and if you're doing one straight over an obstacle, it's good to come at it straight, but if you're coming off the side, you can do that with a wally with a bit of angle. But the difference mainly is going to come with how much more vertical a wally is, because normally a pole jam is going to be a lot less vertical, so you're going to have to properly push up this one to actually get the board to do the wally. You are definitely going to have to scoop the tail a little bit more than on the pole jam because with the pole jam the front trucks will hit into the pole pretty easy because this is quite vertical 
it's not going to be as easy to get the front trucks on the front wheels sorry. so you're going to have to properly scoop in so that you get that push off of it and that's how you're going to get your speed to get over it's all about the scoop so it's essentially the same but you need to go more weightless more leaning back to get that push and then you're going to have to let it flop over the top transfer that weight the same so that you come down level out the board and land all four wheels That's our Wally and Pole Jam tutorial. I hope it helped you to learn them. If it did, leave us a comment in the section below. We'd love to hear your feedback. If it didn't as well, you can let us know if there's any tricks you want us to do. Leave it all in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click subscribe and the little bell and you'll always be the first to see our videos. Have a great day. See you later.